Welcome back to eLink, HVI's remote operation and report generation software suite. In parts one and two of our eLink video series, we reviewed how to install and configure the eLink software, how to set up and run a VLF test remotely, and how to create testing profiles and sequences. In this third and final video of the series, we'll show you how to view test results, move files and generate reports, along with some helpful hints and tips. To view the results of a completed test, click on the test buttons from the main screen. This opens up the view and edit test screen, which is organized by our file and directory windows. Navigate to the proper directory and choose the appropriate test file. You will now see the parameter window in the bottom left of your screen populate, including the waveform, frequency, number of steps, voltages, duration, and fault detection response. The graphic display window in the upper right of your screen will display the test results in different graphs, depending on which radio button you select. You will recognize the available graphs from the earlier section on running a test. If any of the optional but additional circuit ID fields were filled in, that information will populate in the bottom right window. You can also populate these fields here now if you haven't done so before. In a later section, we'll review reports, and these fields help to create a more detailed report. Before we cover reports, let's review how to wirelessly move files, such as profiles or saved tests, between your eLink enabled laptop and the VLF E Series unit itself. Part 8 Moving Files to move files between your laptop and the VLF E-Series, use the VLF Transfer button at the top of the main eLink screen. A VLF Transfer subscreen will open. In the upper left, you'll see buttons for the different VLF E-Series units. Choose the proper unit for the files you are looking to move. In the middle of the VLF Transfer subscreen near the top, you can select between Tests, Profiles, or Sequences for the file you're looking to transfer. Further below the Test, Profiles, and Sequences buttons, there are different options for the file transfer. You can copy a file from your PC to the VLF, or alternatively, you can copy a file from the VLF to your PC. You can also move a file from the VLF to your PC and delete the VLF copy if you no longer need it on the VLF. Finally, you can use the eLink to simply delete files entirely from the VLF without any file transfer. Be careful when deleting files from the VLF and make sure you have transferred any needed copies before doing so. Now that we've shown you how to wirelessly transfer files between the VLF E-Series and your PC, let's review how to generate reports. Part 9. Generating Reports the Reports feature allows you to prepare and generate PDF reports for specific test results saved to your computer. To begin preparing a report from the main screen, click on the Reports button to open up the Reports screen. You will once again see the familiar directory and file structure, showing the available tests in your directory saved with the .hvc file extension. Find and click on the test results you'd like to prepare a report for and a few of the other windows will begin to populate with test results data. The bottom left window will show data for each test step in a table, and the upper right window will show data in graph format. You can view different graphs by selecting the different radio buttons immediately above the graph. The bottom right window on the report screen is the report preparation window. You can choose from different available elements to include within your report, just like earlier, to add an element to the report, click on it in the selector window and then click the Move to Write button to include it within the report. Add other report elements as needed. If you need to remove an errant report element, click on the Move to Left button to remove it to the selector window. Once you have included all of the elements to report, you can sequence them in whatever order you see fit by using the Move Up and Move Down buttons. A single report can include data from up to six different tests, 
and historical comparisons are often highly useful. For example, you might include A, B, and C phase test data for a cable versus the same cable tested five years prior. Once you have set up the report to your liking, you can preview what it will visually look like by clicking on the Preview button. If you are satisfied with the report, you may click on the Print button to begin printing a physical copy of the report. When the Printer dialog box opens, you may check the Print to File option to save the report as a PDF or other document file type. This will allow you to share or send the report document in digital format. In our last section, we'll cover some other neat tips and tricks for reports. Part 10. Tips and Tricks Tip 1. Exporting Results You may find a need to export and save test results in other file formats besides a document. Depending on your organization's data storage methods, you may wish to also save and store test results in an Excel.csv spreadsheet format or as a Microsoft database file. To export any test in Excel or database format on the main screen, click on the appropriate Export To button. A directory window will open, allowing you to find and select the correct .hvc file. If you select Export To CSV, the export file will save to .csv as a default file type. If you select Export To Database, the export file will save to .mdb as a default file type. Tip 2. Changing report names and adding logos to reports. You may wish to title your report something unique. To change report names, click on Settings from the main eLink screen, and then click on the Reports tab. Change the report title name to whatever you'd prefer. If you'd like to add a company logo to your reports, select an image for a logo file. This concludes the overview of the eLink software for HVI's VLF E-Series of AC HiPods. Please review your operator's manual for additional important information. If you have additional questions or inquiries, please contact us at sales at hvinc.com or visit us online at hvinc.com. HVI remains committed to offering truly best-in-class customer training and support. Thank you for choosing HVI and three generations of engineering excellence.